Hello. In this video, let's look at a text highlighter custom visualization plugin that allows you to highlight specific portions of the text within your data. Here is a hotel review data set with details about several hotels, hotel location, and review comments by the hotel guests. Now, I am interested in understanding more about the guests' comments, so I fed this data set to a pre-trained sentiment analysis model from OCI's language service, which can be invoked from the data flow. There is a separate video covering the details of how to invoke this model in the data flow. Now, here's the output data set created by the sentiment analysis model. Here I have for each review ID, the original review text, and a few other columns created by the model. Let me bring in some of these columns into my canvas and understand them better. Now let me first filter it for a couple of hotels that I am interested in. Now I have the review ID and my original review text. I have the analysis level which is either the whole document or a sentence in the document or an aspect. This is the sentiment text that the model retrieved and the actual sentiment that it predicted. I also have an offset and length of the sentiment text from my original document. Now notice that offset is only available for aspect right now. In the upcoming version, it will be available for sentence as well. For now, I will focus on only aspect, so I will apply a filter on this column. So now I have this output from sentiment analysis model with positive and negative sentiments for my various user reviews but I really can't get a sense of the topics that the hotel guests are mentioning in their comments. Let me move sentiment to color, but this is also not really helping me derive any business value. So now I'm going to look at this information using a custom plugin called Text Highlight Plugin, which is available on Oracle Analytics Library and can be downloaded for free. Let me rearrange the columns based on the plugin's grammar. So I will first move the review text as the column that I want to highlight. I'll move offset and length here. Note that offset and length are expected to be attributes. By default, the data flow sets them as metrics and you need to explicitly change them to attributes. Now I'm already seeing that the sentiment text being highlighted in my original document. Now the plugin is using the offset and length column values to highlight the te text in this review. This is already helping me get a sense of the topics that the hotel guests are mentioning. Let me move sentiment to color, and this is a lot better. With color, I'm able to see what are the positive and negative sentiments. So in Budget Pets Hotel, for instance, there are negative reviews about the refrigerator and food, but there's a positive review about the stuff. In case of Little Italy Hotel, there are several negative and positive comments. For example, the positive comments are about the hotel, the rooms, and about one particular staff called Sarah. Now this is valuable business information that I can use to drive some action. Now the plugin also supports some interactions. For example, I can remove the mixed review by clicking on remove selection. Uh, let me also create another table with the hotel name and some of these score metrics here. You'll see that brushing is enabled on the plugin, uh, thereby allowing better interactivity across the various visits. Now that's about the text highlight plugin. While I have used the sentiment model's output as an example here, this plugin can work with any data set. You just need the offset and length columns in the data set, using which the plugin will highlight the relevant text in your column. Thanks for watching this video.